Hmm, what makes a man? Oh, um, this is another uh, response video um, to Max. I seem to be on a Max day. Yeah. She's the one who uploaded the two videos uh, last night, so she's the one who gets responded to. But anyway, what makes a man? Uh, according to society, Western society, um, a man is someone who is strong. They don't show their feelings. They definitely don't like the color pink. They're gruff. They're aggressive. They like sports. Um, have I missed anything? Uh, they don't like, they're not supposed to like gardening, flowers, anything like that. Uh, it, it, women like it, men aren't supposed to. Um, crocheting? <laughs> Knitting? No, those are definitely not male things. Um, but you know what? I think as um, trans transgender people, I think we have the opportunity to help change that. Yeah, we feel as, as female to, to male transgenders or bigender people, we feel masculine as well as feminine. We have two genders, male and female. Those are bigender people. Uh, transgenders, uh, transsexuals, people who are actually transitioning, um, feel, usually feel uh, more along the opposite spectrum of their biological, you know, what their body says they are. Um, but yeah, I think we have a, an opportunity to, to bend the gender roles. Uh, me personally, I have just l started learning how to crochet. Uh, now that this is, it's not finished yet. It's about halfway there. Uh, it's going to be a mat, about double the size, probably, if not triple. Um, but I actually picked this up in my male mode, and. I do it while I'm in male mode, not female mode. I, I find it actually helps relax me, calm my mind down, and allows me to think through problems. I also like gardening. Um, I like growing flowers. And again, to me, that's masculine. Uh, because when I'm in female mode, I, I kill anything I touch, really. <laughs> When I'm in female mode completely, I mean, I, I can touch a, a rose plant and it will die within five minutes. It'll wilt. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm exaggerating a bit, but that, that's about how it is. Um, my, uh, yeah, female mode me doesn't like plants. I just have no luck with them. But male mode me, um, I can make carrot, uh, you know, I can grow carrots onions, flowers, cucumbers, whole, everything, tomatoes, love tomatoes. Um, but yeah, I, I guess to me, male means something that, that to Western society that shouldn't be. Um, The way I see gender is is more fluid than than exact compartments, if you will. Um, but yeah, if you as a, a female to male transgender or a bigendered person, or even a male to female transgender, if you like something that is considered to be the opposite gender of what you are. Who cares? If anyone has a problem with it, it's their own problem. If you like it, it is part of what makes you you. 
and that should be good enough for anyone, really. Uh, if anyone wants to make, you know, if anyone wants to make fun of me, because I enjoy crocheting, and male, well, well, I'm presenting as male. If anyone wants to make fun of me for that, you know, uh, that's up to their own insecurities. Uh, to me, that means that they have something to prove. Whereas I don't. I don't have to prove that I am masculine just because I like something that is attributed to a feminine behavior. Do I like pink? No, no, no not really. I'm, I'm not a pink person. Now this, this is about the kind of pink that I like. It's more of a, a raspberry purpley pink color. Um, here, let me show you purple. This is purple. This is pink. This is the kind of pink that I like. Um, as opposed to, hold on. <sighs> Sorry about that. As opposed to this. This should go in the bin. Mainly because it's been folded up courtesy of my son about five times. But this is pink. It's a bright pink. I don't like it. Sorry, Cap. Um, but that's me. If a guy likes pink, who am I to judge? Uh, as for clothing, um, <laughs> Max made the wonderful uh, statement that men's clothing often is extremely drab. I mean, men's clothing, you, you see khaki, uh, tans, browns, olive greens, you know, your, your military colors, blacks, dark blues, all dark, samey, boring colors, really. Uh, which I'm guilty of wearing, you know, got my Harry Potter shirt on. Yeah, I know it's not exactly what you would call masculine. Uh, but I, I, I tend to wear dark colors. Now, over here, I'm sure in the States you can find them, but here in England, um, there's a, a brand called Boston Crew. And they have some of the brightest, most gorgeous colored men's clothing that I've ever seen. I mean, baby blue plaid tops, you know, button up shirts, um, t-shirts that are turquoise in color. Um, and uh, the other day I was walking past Peacock's, which is a, a clothing store here in the UK. And actually saw a bright, pink it's like the color that i don't like bright bright pink t-shirt with lime green lettering on the front uh and that was a man's shirt i personally wouldn't wear it because it's just not my thing but if a man wants to wear that <laughs> more power to him just remember uh the gender You know, what, what's masculine, what's feminine? It changes from generation to generation. I mean, back in Victorian era, what, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, um, pink was a boy's color. Boys were actually dressed, baby boys were actually dressed in pink. And baby girls were actually dressed in blue. You know, and, and now it's backward. It's the, it's the opposite. Um, so things change. So basically, because I'm running out of time, to sum up, you like what you like. You're you. Be proud of you.